Salut et bienvenue, je suis Christophe Bongo and this is Game On. This week Game On is a special one. We'll be celebrating the induction of Keza Mutaong, Dr. Keza Mutaong. But the conversation with Shane McGregor will be around football in general. And later on, I'll have Banele sitting in this chair to explain to us what is being a panther. What do you need to know for you to be a good one? So the conversation is here and the conversation is about to start. Shane, I'll start immediately with Orlando Parrot and Kezachev. Both team won in midweek. That is great going to the derby. Very good going into the derby. Um, you know, I just feel it actually puts you on the back foot. Uh, Why? Because you, you've got expectations. The fans have got high expectations. Yes, that's what we need. It. And, you know, they, they'll expect them both to win. I had a look at both games, you know, Chiefs uh, won 3-2, 2-0 up at one stage and uh, conceded a few goals and they eventually won 3-2. But Pirates, 1-0 winners, it's a big worry for them at the moment. The goal scoring department is not firing. If you look at where Orlando Pirates come from, not getting good results, getting that lead and keep it until the end and getting three points, if you look where Guess the chips come from? Bad playing, not winning, getting those goals, even though they conceded, but they managed to keep and the win at the end. Personally, I feel like this is a derby that we should be looking forward to. I'm looking forward to it. I always look forward to the derby. You know, it's, it's one of those big games in, in world football, really. And uh, it's always a big game to, to watch. Yeah, but, uh, Chiefs got the three goals. It's a good thing for them. They needed to start scoring. They needed to get on the score sheet. Um, they've done that. It's a, it's a big plus. Pirates, on the other hand, as I said, are struggling in front of goals, but they're very good at going one all up and then defending and not conceding after yep. that. So they're very good at keeping elite Pirates. So, you know, you've got two opposite ways here. If you look at previous results, Chris, very, very tight. It's very always tight. a lot of draws. If you look at how many times they've gone to penalties, um, Chiefs have had the upper hand over Pirates in the last seven or eight games. But this is a derby game, and it, you can't look. You can't look at anything else but a derby game. Is a game that you, if you are a coach, you keep the same starting eleven because they give you good results, regardless of how hard it was. But good result, they are going with some. You say they sting in their tails, and do you keep the, the same eleven? I think both teams rested a few players during the week anyway, you know, so for, with the derby in mind, uh, there'll be one or two changes, but you'll keep the majority of the squad. And, you know, once you've got something gained, you've got to keep it and you've got to keep it on a high. Um, for me, the, the, the most important thing, and this is where I was lucky, where I had a coach that was grounded, yeah. Jeff Butler. He used to tell us, guys, don't worry about the derby. It's a normal game. Just I go out and play. I, I know you can't say that, but you would just say the whole week before the game, guys, it's just a normal game. It's another game. Don't worry about the harp. Just go out there and play the way we normally play. Don't change your pattern of play. Don't change your way of playing, and the results will come. So, you know, you've got to look at it a couple of ways. It's a big game. Stadium will be full. Um, yeah, the team that's, that's got the biggest bottle at the end of the day for that day will get the victory. I always look at the derby weekend as a plus for Mamelo de Sundown and the Super Sport United. Gavin hunts most of his win in the league. It comes in during that weekend or that week of the derby. And do you think this is Sundown is sitting there saying, well, they're killing themselves? I am fine there. Well, Sundowns are laughing at the moment. I mean, uh, they're so far ahead. They're 10 points at the end of Chiefs with three games in hand. So, I mean, for them, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, um, they'll be sitting back and relaxing, saying, guys, we're there. You've got to catch us. Um, go out there and... and, and this hope is not a stalemate. But for, for Sundowns, that'll be the Quickly. ideal thing, a stalemate. Prediction? I think it's going to be a one-all draw. One-all draw. It, mm. Coach, we're talking about football now, but... This season, since the season has started, the biggest talking point is not the best goal, the best player, the best game. It is and has been VAR. And yet, South Africa, we wanted to come here. What is your take of that? You know, there's good and bad in VAR. Um, I, I believe it's, if you do it properly, it can be used. used but nobody's well. managing to do it properly. That's the problem. And especially when, when you look at uh, the EPL, you know, Premier League in, in, in England. Um, I watched a game <laughs> this week where 
they played 12 minutes after the, the 45. Now, and that was all because of VAR. It's taking far too long. The decisions are taking far too long. Uh, it should be a lot quicker. Um, for me now But why don't we go to the natural stage of football where we expect the referees to be often fair and make mistakes than having a help and they still make mistakes? Well, at least it helps with the mistakes. <laughs> no, it makes it worse. Um, it does make it worse. Because there I is agree. no reason for you to have uh, a mistake. I agree, but you know, that happens. It's, it's natural. That's human being. I mean, when we played it, there was no such thing as this. If the ref made a mistake, he made a mistake. VAR or no VAR? Um, I think it's a good thing to bring in, but they've got to quicken it up. You're not answering my question. I think VR. VR, VR I think so VR. we go VR. I think VR. So you'll take the 70% of bad decision that is made compared to not having it? I think VR is a must. This week in the Premier League, which game are you watching? I'm going to watch, and uh, funny enough, uh, a little mono team called Luton. Yeah. Um, I predicted last week to a few friends and family yeah. they made money. I said a draw with Liverpool. They come up against a struggling Man United team. Um, I, I want to watch that game <clears throat> because if Man United lose or draw, I think their manager is going to be uh, given the failure at midweek in Champions League. They did not do well, especially yeah. coming twice leading. And then Bundesliga, the we're looking at this weekend. Via Leverkusen again, my same favourite team, always via Leverkusen. They'll win. It's just a matter of how many they're going to win by this weekend. I'll be speaking with Banele. When I finish the conversation with Banele, I would like to bring you back because we have to talk about Kesem Taung. So you don't go away. I still have a conversation with Shane McGregor. We'll talk about the great. Dr. Mutaung, what a left foot. I never watched him play football. I saw some videos, so don't go away. Shane will be back.